3249 Newport doing a sewer scope from a three inch basement clean out next to the hot water heater. 92 foot to the city sewer. There's the city line there. Here's our tap connection into the main. It is a concrete tap. You can see at the And you can see at the bottom there, sorry, the camera froze a little bit there. You can see at the bottom of the concrete tap there, there is a crack in the line. <clears throat> Get a better picture of it. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. And then it goes right on to clay tile piping. And you can see a break there in the line at 90 foot. It's offset and then the tile at the top is broken. So that, uh, that could collapse at any time. A little bit of an offset there, not much. It did appear as I was scoping this line that the line was just recently cleaned. Now there was a, a lot of roots still in this line that were just loose, that were cut up and, and not flushed down. So it looks to me like when they cleaned it, they didn't run any water. We still have some roots there, 66 foot. You'll never get 100% of them when you clean it. crack there at the bottom of the pipe at that joint. Got a crack there in the line. You can see this ring crack there at 44 foot. Still see some pretty heavy root there, half the pipe.
sewer line definitely showing some signs of deterioration. And a small stress crack there just after that joint. You can see it on the left side of the screen. our cast iron to clay connection. Sorry about that. Thirty-two forty-nine Newport sewer line has been tested and inspected and is flowing well at this time. The sewer line does have a couple of stress cracks throughout the line, a large offset with a break just before the tap and a crack at the tap. Now with the signs of deterioration that are in the line and the cracks, I am going to recommend a sewer line replacement. That is a full exterior sewer line replacement from the cast iron to clay connection just outside of the house to the city sewer.